Welcome back to the Inner Game podcast where we explore the depths of money, investing, philosophy and life. I'm your host Vishal Khandelwal and today I dive into Nassim Taleb's enlightening book Fooled by Randomness and into the world of randomness, hindsight bias and how these concepts significantly impact our lives. So what's the big idea here? Well, Taleb's book Fooled by Randomness tells us that our world is way more unpredictable than we tend to think. The problem it tries to tackle is that of our perception of the world that is often skewed by a natural tendency to seek patterns and consistencies even in a world that is fundamentally more random than we would like to believe as humans we love finding patterns and we love making sense of things it's in our nature but as we have evolved and as a society has advanced the world has grown increasingly uncertain and unpredictable at least more unpredictable than our brains like to admit but taleb's insights highlight a deep seated desire to find patterns in the world around us whether those patterns genuinely exist or not and this behavior is deeply rooted in our evolutionary history our ancestors needed to detect patterns in the behavior of animals plants and even celestial bodies to survive and thrive just consider early humans were trying to hunt for food they had to recognize patterns in the movement and behavior of animals to predict their prey's actions in the same way they had to identify patterns in the growth of plants to know when and where to find edible resources this natural inclination to spot patterns was essential for survival and that's the reason we are here today but as our society evolved so did our ability to recognize patterns we we've developed complex tools and systems to analyze data and make predictions however this very skill that once ensured a survival can now lead us astray especially in a world characterized by increasing randomness and unpredictability now one significant challenge in understanding randomness is hindsight bias this is a cognitive bias and it makes us view past events as less random than they genuinely were it's like having a perfect vision in hindsight once we know the outcome of an event it becomes challenging to imagine the countless other ways things could have unfolded let me illustrate this concept with a couple of examples imagine you're watching a sports game and your favorite team wins as you celebrate their victory it's easy to attribute their success to their skill and strategy you might think they played brilliantly it was clear they were going to win however if the outcome had been different and your team had lost you might have criticized their performance questioning their abilities and strategy i think this is exactly what happened when the indian cricket team after winning all their league matches very comfortably lost the world cup finals recently and faced criticism from countless people suddenly the same people who were clear india was going to win the final started questioning the team's abilities and strategy it was as if overnight everyone on the street became an expert on how the indian team should have played to win anyways to further explore this concept let's turn to nasim taleb's own words from fool by randomness so taleb wrote and i quote it is as if there were two planets the one in which we actually live and the one considerably more deterministic on which people are convinced we live it is as simple as that past events will always look less random than they were it is called hindsight bias I would listen to someone's discussion on his own past realizing that much of what he was saying was just backfit explanations concocted ex post by his deluded mind quotes closed Taleb's insights remind us that our tendency to perceive past events as less random than they were can lead to misjudgments and flawed decision making let's take another example imagine you are an investor and you are considering buying shares of say a company called XYZ You've done your research and noticed that over the past year the stock price of the company has been steadily rising. It seems like a sure bet, so you decide to invest a significant portion of your savings in it. Months go by and the stock continues to climb. You feel like a genius for making such a well-informed decision. You might even tell your friends that you knew all along that company XYZ was destined for success. However, what you might not fully realize is that your assessment of the situation is influenced by hindsight bias and randomness. As the stock continues to perform well, you start to view your initial decision as obvious and rational. You think, of course I invested in company XYZ, it was so clear that they would do well. This is hindsight bias in action. It makes you believe that your past decision was more predictable and logical than it was at that time. 
in reality the stock market is influenced by a multitude of unpredictable factors economic conditions geopolitical events changes in consumer behavior and even unexpected news can impact stock prices now while company xyz might have had a successful year much of that success could have been due to random fluctuations and external factors that you could not have foreseen and here's where the danger lies because of hindsight bias you might be tempted to invest even more heavily in company xyz or make similar decisions based on your perceived track record of successful investing however the stock market doesn't always follow predictable patterns and past performance is not always indicative of future results this is another classic example of hindsight bias so when we know the outcome we tend to attribute it to skill or intention even though the result may have been influenced by a fair amount of randomness and chance in reality sports games or short term investment returns are often decided by unpredictable factors but when you attribute them to pure skill it's not a good idea and not just sports or investing in everyday decision making too hindsight bias can lead you to misguided judgments imagine you're deciding whether to invest in a new business venture you hear about someone else's success story and assume that their path to success was entirely planned and predictable and this can lead to overconfidence in your decision making overlooking the role of luck and randomness in their journey all in all nasim talev's fool by randomness serves as a crucial reminder that our world is often far more random than our minds tend to perceive hindsight bias can obscure our judgment and lead us astray particularly in areas like investing and decision making under uncertainty understanding the prevalence of randomness in our lives can help us make more informed decisions be more humble in our predictions and ultimately navigate the uncertain waters of life and investing more effectively that's all from my side for today if you found this video insightful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more thought provoking content don't forget to share your thoughts and experience with randomness and decision making in the comments and thank you for joining me in this exploration of fool by randomness by nasim taleb i hope you found this discussion valuable and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you so much